What's up you guys? I'm here with a new video today and I'm here to bring you guys a discussion on, you guessed it, Prohibition and Sideblocker. So the reason why I'm talking about these cards, as you guys can see from the title, uh, I feel that these two cards specifically are probably some of the best problem solving cards in the game currently. Uh, with the format we are in, I feel that these cards really do uh, answer problems that a lot of players are having. They are without a doubt one of the best answers to floodgates. And I'm going to read off the effects. I actually, uh, you know, I found this image online. I believe this is uh, Team Shockwave's uh, thumbnail they made. So shout out to you guys. Um, I just saw this and I wanted to use it just as a cool background instead of just doing the standard, you know, YGO Pro. I think that gets boring after a while. Uh, if you guys like this format of doing a discussion on cards, let me know, and I'll definitely uh, keep that up for you guys. Uh, but in the meantime, we're just going to talk about these two cards because I feel that right now, um, a lot of players are trying to figure out, you know, how do we stop, you know, like all the problems in this format? How do we stop ABC Buster Dragon? How do we stop, you know, Blue Eyes decks? How do we stop Burning Abyss? All the decks are being played this format. How do we stop them? So we're going to start with Prohibition. So Prohibition is very simple. Prohibition says, activate them by declaring one card name. Cards with that name and their effects cannot be used. Cannot be used. Period. Cards already on the field are not affected, including face down cards. So, hypothetically speaking, you have an ABC Buster Dragon on the board already. You play Prohibition called ABC Buster Dragon. Okay, cool. You can, they can no longer summon the card, but the one that's already on the board, you know, stays on the board. So kind of irrelevant because they can just discard a card, banish Prohibition, and kind of laugh at you. But anyways, that's besides the point. So why is this card good? This card is good because you're able to, if you're going first, these two cards are very good when you're going first. Or uh, side blocker is a little uh, better also when playing second, but Prohibition is really good going first because after game one because this isn't a main deck card but after game one you basically know like what you're playing against and you can just say okay that's the what card really hurts me i was playing uh you'll send you demise and I cited Prohibition, and I basically cited it for Twin Twister. For Twin Twister, because obviously I'm a Demise deck. I play a plethora of traps. I don't want them to destroy them. I just, you know, set up my board, do Demise, play Prohibition, call Twin Twister. Don't have to worry about Twin Twister the rest of the game. If I draw another Twin Twister, I'm calling Full House, because I don't want to get blown up by Full House. So that alone was able to solve the problems that, you know, I had against, you know, decks that, you know, decks and whatever they cited. So what could you do right now uh, to, you know, set up, you know, winning? Well, if you're going, if you if you win or lose game one, you know, you, if usually if you you win game one, you're going second, so side blocker is a better option. If you lose game one, you're going first, so prohibition is a better option. It's just ba based on you know whether you're going first or second. Most uh, this whole format, I believe everyone wants to go first. I don't think people really build their decks to go second outside of water, so. Prohibition is awesome because if you're playing against ABC, you, if you take a hard loss game one, well, game two, you can set up your board, you go Prohibition and call ABC Buster Dragon if that's, you know, the real problem for you. If that's a problem for you, you just call that card and basically, you know, the opponent will not be able to summon it. Now, they do have access to all the rank fours. They can't eventually clear it. But if you're playing a deck, uh, you know, w depending on what deck you're playing, you should be able to answer any problematic cards. Other decks. Prohibition Dante for Burning Abyss. Prohibition, if you have a second Prohibition, Prohibition Beatrice. You know, pre a, a Prohibition, whatever you know, gives you problems, like whatever gives you an issue against, uh, like the current, like basically what you're playing against. So you're playing against Blue Eyes White Dragon. Honestly, Prohibition Blue Eyes White Dragon because the opponent can't use it at all. And when the opponent can't use Blue Eyes White Dragon, trust me, the deck crumbles. Same with uh, the Dark Magician deck. You just call Dark Magician and, you know, you call Circle, you call Navigation, Eternal Soul. You just call all their main cards. So as long as you have a general knowledge of what deck you're playing against, Prohibition can be really beneficial. Um, I really emphasize this for ABCs just because ABCs, you know, are so relevant. And, you know, having been out only like a week or so, they've already dominated multiple regionals. So I feel prohibition is a really cool cool card now you don't want to play it you don't have to uh that's why there's side blocker if you want to have more of a body to what you're doing side blocker is an awesome card too we did a discussion as you guys saw yesterday on uh, barrier statues and how they basically can just out abc just by summoning one of them so these are just other options you can have more of an anti-meta strategy but also just really good in the side deck in general one thing i've always liked about prohibition is you can use it against multiple decks you just call the monster that their deck bases around when you do that their whole deck strategy crumbles. They first need to find an out to your prohibition, and then they need to be able to, you know, follow up with that. So if they are only able to out the prohibition but don't have a follow-up play, you can win from there. So that's what I have to say about prohibition. I feel it's a very solid uh, card against uh, against the format just in general, just overall. I feel every format, prohibition and side blogger are just good cards. You just have to know what to call and what to side them in against. Um, so the next card, side blocker. Why side blocker is here, why side blocker might actually be a better option is, number one, it can't get 
get Twin Twister. Prohibition, unfortunately, does fall into the category of Spell and Trap Removal will get rid of it. Now, Cyblocker is not that strong. It has 1,200 attack, 300 defense, but... If you're protecting it, the card should be able to stick on the board long enough for you to win, the, to control the game and win the game. So side blocker is effectively very simple. For those of you who don't know, it's a psychic. It's a win. Level 4, and it says once per turn, you can declare one card name. Cards with that name and their effects cannot be used until the end of your opponent's next turn. So basically, you just summon this. You just... You know, you just call a card. You can, so it's basically once per turn, you can declare a card name. So basically, you can do this as long as side blocker stays on the board. Each turn, you can call a different card. And it says... Uh, cards with that name and their effects cannot be used until the end of your opponent's next turn. Now, what's really cool about this is when they have a problematic monster on the board, you just call summon side blocker, call it, you know, it just negates it, which is crazy. So you can summon this against Vanity's Fiend and just out Vanity's Fiend. It, that's why cards like uh, Swords of Concealing Light, Book of Eclipse are used. Side blocker actually has a body to it, which I think is really cool. You are able to, you know, summon it, turn off cards, and you know, just uh, proceed to do your thing. Uh, side blocker was used during Dragon Ruler format against Spellbooks. You call Jalgen. Is amazing you call fate amazing too and you know you just you control the game from there so why side blocker might be a better option is that if you are going first or second the card has value the card has value if you're going first because you can set up with a side blocker and call what you already know if you're going second you can uh, splash it into an established board and you can call whatever problem you're facing in the, in the current state of the game so I feel that that card really has a lot of versatility because being able to actually see what's being played against you and what lock your opponent's trying to do you can actually out it with a single card and I think that's just awesome plus like I said before it has a body to it so basically that's the whole point of this discussion is that there are two really good options in prohibition and side blocker that are able to stop you know pretty much the entire format it doesn't matter what what your opponent is playing you have public knowledge once they slap a card on the board you can just negate it if it's really getting in your way like i said prohibition has its pros and cons you know it is susceptible to cards like twin twister full house typhoon etc side blocker on the other hand is a body however it's not a very strong body so at the same time uh if Cyblocker gets run over, you know you're out of luck. Another downside to Cyblocker is that, unfortunately, it will take up your normal summon. Unless, like, you're playing a Pendulum deck and you Pendulum it out. I haven't seen that done yet, but I think it would be pretty cool if it was. Kind of like how Metal Foes is playing Jaugen, you know, just Penduling him it out. Same thing with Cyblocker. You know, Cyblocker is great against Jaugen. Same thing with Prohibition. That's another big one uh, for Metal Foes that are playing Jaugen, which is basically all of them. You just summon this, and you know, same thing. You're scared of Magic Spectres, call Kirin, you know, stuff like that. Just very simple stuff. And I feel that... Uh, for that reason, these cards definitely deserve some attention. That's why I wanted to bring them to you in a discussion today because I feel that they're cards that not a lot of people will remember, nor will they, you know, even take the time to, you know, research and side deck and test out. But I definitely know from personal experience, I played Side Blocker during Dragon Ruler format, and I played Prohibition recently when I was playing my Demise decks just to out Twin Twister, Full House, etc. And it was just amazing. So I highly suggest that uh, you take these as other options to out problematic cards and floodgates this format because, I mean, they're just really good and they're very cheap. They're both common. They do come hollow, but if you're a budget player like me, you just get them common, do the same thing. So, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the discussion. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any examples of when you've side blockered something or prohibition something for game, let me know in the comments below. Let me know anything else you'd like me to discuss here on the channel. Like I said, I've been doing more frequent uploads. Uh, it's actually my birthday on Monday, so I'm going to be leaving um, probably on Sunday to go celebrate my birthday. I don't know when I'll, you know, I'll return to the videos. So I hope that this constant, uh, you know, uploading, uh, you know, will satisfy you guys till I get back. But yeah, um, I think these are two really good cards, really underrated, and I think that they need more attention because they do answer problems in this format. And I think that b cards like this are always able to answer the format for the fact that they're versatile. And the fact that they're versatile and you can use them in your side deck is just awesome. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, smash that like button. Let me know any other uh, discussions you'd like to see here on the channel. I'll definitely bring them to you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, and thank you for watching.